Chiswick was home to William Hogarth, one of the most famous artists of the 18th century, and he was well known for making people feel a part of his world. Today, we are going to go and visit some local Chiswick artists who are also trying to invite people in and make people feel a part of their world. I'm talking about Artists at Home, an event which is run every year where local artists in the Chiswick area open their homes to the public, invite everyone in to share their world. We're outside one of the homes of three of the artists right now and we're about to go in and take a look and say hello. The event was started over 40 years ago and gives artists, be it amateur or professional, the chance to share their work with other art lovers. I, I really like the idea of these open studios we can because the stuff on sale is reasonable. Um, I mean, you know, our stuff here starts at five pounds, so even children come in and buy things. And um, if someone comes in here and sees something they love, and they buy it and they take it home, and it gives them pleasure every time they look at it. So I think it's a really nice thing to do. And they're having so many studios open at once. If you don't like one, you can go on to the next, and you don't have to buy. You can just go and enjoy looking at it all and see stuff that you wouldn't see anywhere else. Henrietta is a garden designer by trade but started learning to paint five years ago. So this is the kind of thing that I would do to get going because I find it, I don't have to think about it too much, just look at what's in front of me. I mean obviously it's a sort of, it's a lot of it is about the frame Yeah. Um, and then a, a slightly mad sea bass in it. Um, <laughs> he's very happy that he's in the frame maybe. Yes. This house belongs to Antonia, a former ballet teacher who is today showcasing her incredible sculptures. Some of these are my um, heads and figures of dancers. This is uh, Sergei Polunin, the, a Russian dancer. These ones here are different because they're Raku work. Raku comes originally from a, s a system of pottery that they had in Japan uh, where you fire the pottery in an outdoor kiln, which we do in the garden, it gets very hot, it's then taken out with some tongs and put straight into some sawdust and covered up quickly with a lid on the, the dustbin that it's in uh, so that it doesn't get any oxygen. It then comes out with all these exciting coppery colours, um, coppers and blues. Next, I paid a visit to Pierre Goodnitz, who opened his flat up to show his photo artwork. So you do photo art? Yes. Is that what yes. it's called? Yeah, that is what it is called. And there's no real definition for it, but I call it photo art because I start out with a photograph mm -hmm. and then uh, sit in Photoshop and do whatever I want to do. Okay. And here you have examples, all from Lisbon, all of, of small streets. And, and these are all photographs that you yourself have taken? Yes, yes, I, I only do pictures on my own photos. <laughs> so the, the people that you've had invited into your home, does it feel weird having them in your home or what, what does no, it feel actually like? No, actually not. No, I actually enjoy it. I, I, I like to, to show my, my home for, for people who have not uh, been here before. It, it's fun. Well, um, should we have a look through at some of your other rooms? Because it's all yes. over your all over yes. your home. Yeah, I have all rooms. I have to use all rooms. Bedroom. I have also some pictures. This piece here reminds me of maybe something yeah, that would be in yeah, a spooky yeah. or magical sort of space. Yeah, it is. It's actually a stuffed bird in a church. Oh. A weird thing, but uh, I like the results there. Yeah. I really like it. It's it, really it, cool. It, as you said, it's a bit dreamlike. Thousands visited 74 artists across Chiswick during the event before the artwork became hidden away for another year. Kerry Hartle for Chiswick Buzz.